Welcome to this tutorial about how to upload to Zenodo. To upload, you must have logged in using the button in the top right hand corner. If you haven't, you will be prompted to do so when you start. To initiate an upload, start by clicking on the upload button in the banner at the top of any Zenodo screen. You will then be taken to a page which lists all your previous uploads, including any drafts you haven't finished uploading yet. If this is your first upload, then you will simply see this Get Started message and a new upload button, which you should click. The first task is to select which files you wish to upload. You can either drag and drop them into the Files area, or click the Choose Files button and use your chooser. If you have more files, click the small white Choose Files button at the top right of the Files area again. When all your files are listed, click the green Start Upload button. This small file was uploaded quickly, but if you have large files they may take a long time in the background and you will see a progress bar. Either way, you can get started on the next task of describing your upload by entering metadata. First, select the types of files you are uploading. Depending on the type, you may be able to refine your selection into subtypes using a drop-down menu. Next is the DOI, the Digital Object Identifier. Zenodo will normally register a new DOI for you when you finally submit. But if you need to enter the DOI into the files you are uploading, then click the Reserve DOI button to get one in advance. If your files already have a DOI assigned by another publisher, it is important not to duplicate DOIs, so enter your external DOI here. Next, enter a meaningful title, preferably the actual title if it's an article or presentation. Then, add all the authors as free text using the family name, comma, given name convention, as well as their affiliation. Don't forget to add their ORCID if they have one. Next, enter an informative description, preferably the abstract if it's an article. For a dataset, make sure the description is rich enough for its utility and reusability to be understood. Optionally add version and language information and especially keywords to help findability, one at a time using the Add Another Keyword button. Next is the license. Having research as open as possible is the goal, so open is the default, but more restrictive access rights are available for specific needs. If you choose open access, then you must also choose a license under which it is shared. A standard CC BY license is recommended for most purposes. You can browse licenses or search for them by starting to type a license name. Next, specify any funders. If your research was funded by the European Commission, you can find and associate your grant number from our large database of EC grants. If your research was co-funded, we support multiple other funders and their grants, so you can add these too. After selecting a funder, search for your grant by starting to type its number. Once you have finished, click the Save button to store a draft of your record, which allows you to complete it later. Once you are sure to have finished, click the Publish button, but first double-check everything since after publication the files cannot be changed, only the metadata edited. Your files and metadata are made available according to the access rights you chose. A preview is shown of the top file in your record, and the full file list is shown below. The DOI is shown on the right, and scrolling down, you will see the recommended citation string for the record you just uploaded. That's all. You should now be fully prepared to upload to Zenodo. But if you do have further questions, Please don't hesitate to ask.